economic collapse news update. I want to just give you a brief overview of the way I think about things. Nothing here that I say is financial advice and it's just the way I look at things through my window of life of, of life. So here in America, you know, we're living it pretty good even though we're in a massive depression that eventually they're going to come and say in 5 years, 3 years they're going to come say this was a big depression worse than the Great Depression, okay? Um, and <clears throat> even though that, you know, there's millions of people behind on their house payments, even though there's millions of people that haven't paid rent, even though there's millions of people that have lost their jobs, okay, we're doing way better than many other countries, okay? And, but, but, but that has major side effects to it. One of the side effects I want to talk about Okay, is that the eventual led lead to war? Because today we have major tensions in three corners of the world: in the Middle East with Iran, in the Philippines with China, and with Russia. Okay, um, so and and the and the threat that goes through all those three countries in regions is America, is us. So why is that? Why is that that we're always in conflict with people? Well, one of the reasons is that the petrol dollar, okay? The, the reason that, you know, we can have the natural, the nation's debt go up so high and high is because we are the printer of the world reserve currency. What I mean by that is the Fed can print our central bankers they print money and then everyone else in the world including you and me plus all the other countries has to accept the dollar to buy gas or fuel um that's why we have the relationship we have with Saudi Arabia that's why the word is tokenized to petrodollar because what gives grip, what gives teeth to the dollar besides the military is the exchange of buying this one precious commodity called fuel, right? That everyone needs, all countries need. <clears throat> and now, and now, that's why we in America live in such a lavish lifestyle. Even even the poor live in la lavish lifestyle versus if you compare it to people in India or Pakistan or many of the third world countries, right? Um, and this is why we have businesses that have so much stuff, but they don't. They're all in debt, and so on. And we can live so lavishly even in a depression because we our central bankers print money. And that's why we can have the national debt go up and up and up and up. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to one day that it does matter. And that's why I'm making this video because um, unlike other countries, for example, we see right now in Turkey that they have 16% interest uh, inflation, excuse me, 16% inflation month after month. Holy moly, right? And, you know, we can do that. American can do that by weaponizing the dollar because we are the world reserve currency now we've done that to many different countries through sanctions to printing of money because what's happening right now for example is when we're printing so much money we're exporting the inflation out to other countries um and their the third world countries are really taking the bare hit of our country going down and many people are not going to want to admit to it or they can't understand it but in reality by us printing so much money in america not only is it hard for me and you and the cost of goods go up but the majority of the impact of that blow is exported out to the third world countries like you see what's happening in turkey and with so many other countries those people in their countries are going to be paying the most um hardships they're taking the weight for, from us because they cannot print i mean their governments print their own money but they're gonna all gonna need the petrol dollar end of the day so that's why it's called the world reserve currency now the problem is that we're printing so much money and we're printing so much money and we're printing so much money 
and we're able to basically steal the natural resources of all these other countries from China to Mexico to Latin America to the Middle East. We're printing papers and then we're getting their, their actual resources, the things that cost money like the coconuts, the bananas, the you know, and that's the real true story that's not going to be told on on this mainstream media that I've sewed it together for you, okay? Um, and the, the problem is that, you know, because we're printing this free money, I keep saying we, but the Fed and our big brother, they're printing this money so much that is jeopardizing the society that we live in, the comforts that we live in. That's why you see that 50%, 60%, 80% of people, if they didn't make their car payments, they wouldn't have a car, right? Because we have all these things, but we haven't paid for it. And because of our ability, of our country's smart ability to con all the other worlds to accept some fake dollars that they print out. But the problem right now is because they printed so much money in such a short period of time, right, that there's many other countries are feeling like, hey, we don't want to accept the dollar. They don't want to be enslaved to this. Just like you and I are one way to another are being robbed because of all the printing they do not only through the inflation and so many other things but going back to the story to the countries the problem with that is that you know when these other countries want to go out and create their own currency or for example like iraq or you know other countries in the middle east decided to you know sell their oil in a different currency uh, or to try to, you know, back everything by gold, then we overdo them. And same thing is happening right now in the three regions of the world that I talked about with China, Iran, and Russia. And the the threading string is America. We're, we're, the, we're the string that has all these three situations in there. And eventually i believe it's going to lead to war because of all the printing that we've done because you know why do we accept the dollar because we believe it why do the other countries accept the dollar because they believe it but if the dollar for example was like your girlfriend or your wife or whatever and they they treated you bad all the time eventually you may think about breaking up divorcing separating right and any country that's done it so far, we've gone into war and overthrow their government with military or by kooks. Um, and, you know, these are not things that I'm saying. I mean, there's, there's CIA, you know, CIA documentations of, for example, many of the coups that our government has done in Iran, in Latin America. I mean, it goes on and on, right? How we use our military to, you know, steal the plantations from, you know... The, the owners of Latin American countries so we could get the bananas real cheap, so we can get the coconuts real cheap, or we can get the oils real cheap, so all that. And when I'm saying cheap is because we're printing the money, right? <laughs> we're printing the money too. So this is why I believe that we're, we're heading towards war because anytime we have a Great Depression, there's always a war associated with it, okay? Uh, historically, and anytime that, you know, um, the people start suffering, there's always, you know, bad things happen. And I am for pro market. I'm for free trade. I'm for peace and prosperity. I'm, I'm for our kids having a better future. I'm not for, I'm not for killing and, you know, uh, bullying and, you know, um, dictating and all that stuff, man, you know? Um, and I think that, the world will be a better place if we could all work together. Because if you be honest with yourself, we're all interconnected. You know, we get our pineapples from one country. We get our beans from another country. We get our guacamole from a different place. We get, you know, we all eat all this stuff because we're in a worldwide, we're on one planet, the ship, this one planet. So uh, the sooner we can work with each other, but we can't do that here in America because, you know, What's happening with, you know, corporations owning America, you know, interest groups owning America and, you know, the shadow government that has its own interests versus the people. OK, I mean, <clears throat> it's no secret that 
by them printing all this money, they're robbing us. I mean, anyone, you got to be a blind and a deaf man to know that when you go to the store, the price of goods are increasing. Um, the price of a simple F-150 from 1996 to now has increased so much, guys. Tripled this price, basically. Doubled this price. All right. Um, so we're, we're living in a situation now. The people in America, like me and you, we have no choice. This is a country, you know, whatever Big Brother says we got to do. But other countries, you know, they have choices. They could say, look, I don't want to accept the dollar. And sure, they, they're under the bully threat of, you know, us bombing them and, and shitting on them. But they still have the choice to make. Or we here, we have no choice to make maybe besides buy gold or get at into Bitcoin, right? And vote with our life energy or AKA the dollar, which is tied into. But I don't like to tie in my life energy to the dollar because they, they dilute it. They're printing it out. And that's why I am for gold. That's why I'm for Bitcoin. And so, you know, I do see in the near future that we're going to be heading into a war with one of these three regions that I talked about um, because there's hard times for you know, us in America, because when the countries around the world are not going to accept our dollar, we're going to pay the major consequence. Why do we going to pay the major consequence? Me and you as a citizen, as the peasants of, of America. And I say peasants, and I really mean that. Um, and the reason is that um, we don't produce anything here. Let's be honest to yourself, guys. Your laptop comes from China. Your food comes from Mexico. Everything comes from a different country. We don't produce anything. The, the, the real wolf in the world is by production, right? The real wolf is not by printing of money. That's not a wealth. We can't just print money. We can't just, you know, at this current technology time, you know, Star Trek and vaporize food in front of us. We, we can't do that. We need the farm. We need the producers, right? And we don't produce anything. I mean, the only thing I see here in America, and I'm being honest with you, to put production is production of debt. We're, we're real clever on producing debt, all kinds of instruments like reverse mortgages. I mean, you name it, all kinds of clever um investment instruments and so on so we're very clever at that and we produce that we took we produce massive um weapons of destruction right we sell that to all over the world we export that stuff out um and you know and a couple of other small things but you know we don't make cars here anymore we don't make computers here anymore you know there's so many things we don't do here anymore where we used to do it which made us the world power okay we have it we have outsourced all that stuff out we have given it away to other people other countries and they're the producers now so when the pe people around the world are going to stop taking a dollar we're going to be going in a massive world war three situation because we're going to be paying significantly because we can't get stuff we're not going to be able to get the chips with the card we're not going to be able to get the the goat and we can't get the rice we can't get the bread we can't get the cheese we can't get this because we're not making it in here you know we're not making it here in america okay and we are going to pay the most consequence the average citizen because we live in a world of fantasy you know we own cars that we haven't paid for we got college degrees we haven't paid for we have we have all this stuff we, we go on vacations on debt on leverage we you know there are millions of people investing with leverage money in in the bitcoin the market you know it's like they don't margins and in, in the stock market is margins and in, in real estate debt leverage i mean everywhere you go there's a guru telling you how to get into debt and and the big brother gives you discount if you get into debt and everything's about debt based right like just get into debt get into debt um and you know screw saving money dude screw saving money screw being a producer you know if you're thinking 20 moves ahead and and try to prep don't don't forget about prepping like be the grasshopper don't be the ant that works hard to save your food you know just just have a party dude be like you're on the titanic drink a bunch of wine and go dance and that's that's what what you know unfortunately is being uh groomed here in, in our hometown in, in in america in my opinion because we are not the producers anymore we don't we don't make bikes here it's made in taiwan it's made in china we don't make i mean the guys the list goes on and on and on from my from a lighter to your shoes to your underwear to your food in the refrigerator if you go look at it 
It's majority is coming from other parts of the world. And the reason we have so much wealth is because Big Brother and the Federal Reserve, basically the central bankers of America, have created a clever way to Ponzi scheme the whole world into some fake currency that they print at a print machine, but they want me and you to go work for it or life energy and the whole world to go do that. And everyone has accepted it right so far because a, they don't have other choice. Plus it was working, but now it seems like, you know, we're the world bullies for everything. And we have our own problems. I mean, like look at California, look at all the homeless, look, look at the, police brutality we have more people locked up in prisons than countries have populations and i mean look, look, look at the situation where the mom has to work and the dad has to work look at the situation where the divorce rate in america is 50 percent. i mean come on those things have tolls in our society you know what i mean when the mom's not there when the dad's not there you can't tell me that there's not a side effect on the kids emotions and, and their self-esteem and the way they see the world you know what i mean so we have problems here at home that i, th I think that we should address be be before sticking our nose into other people, right? Because I think that if we improve our life, then everyone will try to emulate us. So we don't have to butt into other people's lifestyles, especially when we have all these problems here. You know, we have medical health so expensive here. You can go to any other country, do anything you want for a quarter of the price, right? So that's what I'm trying to get at, that we, we're, we're having, we're going to head towards a major war because of the mismanagement of the dollar. And this point three was that there's going to be massive consequences for the citizens of America, the presence of America. And I'm one of them, right? You know, because reality is, you know, I'm not a noblest. Even if you're making millions of dollars, if you're making 100 million or even a 1 billion, you're still just a peasant in a sense um because the people that i really have control um have their own agendas and the agendas is not world peace it's in this seems like you know distribution of weapons all over the world uh you know chaos and wars i mean think about how many wars were were been into in the past 10 years um think about all the military bases we have all over the world i mean we could use that energy to solve the homeless we can use that energy to solve you know single parents we can use that energy so mom and dad doesn't have to work we can put that energy into lowering health care we can use that energy to save the planet you know we can do all these great things but unfortunately there are people in power that want you know your brothers and sons and friends to go to war and get slaughtered and I, they've been doing this for quite a while not only in this country but in many countries right um around the world and that's why i am for gold and bitcoin because you know i think that having a separation of the monetary and from big brother is a big you know big thing for humanity to step forward that's why i like blockchain because the transparency because you know we can move forward when, you know, churches are waging wars, right? Because of whoever church you believe in, mosque or whatever, right? We can't move forward as a civilization when Big Brother can print their money and, and cause endless wars. If it's war on drugs, if it's war on immigrants, if it's war on people that don't like the dollar, if it's war on terrorism. I mean, like, they got wars for everything, you know what I'm saying? And we need less wars, in my opinion, and more love and affection and compassion towards our fellow beings, guys. Anyways, guys, let me, let me remind you, always remember, you're braver than you believe, you're stronger than you seem, you're smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined. My favorite poet, Palmy. Much left for me and my family to you. Don't take no for an answer, guys. Peace. And don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.